Welcome back to my channel. This is Tina, the Thriftaholic. I'm not showing you my ugly face because I have COVID and I'm a little bit of a wreck. And But I did want to show you my haul from last weekend. Um, I went to a church thrift uh, flea market and uh, a bazaar and I got some great stuff that you're seeing here. So we're gonna go a little bit at a time here, one piece at a time. We'll start with the Lake George, New York um, beach towel. This is a great vacation spot for a lot of families, a very traditional family um, vacation spot. And I know this will sell pretty well. Um, Kat the Nurse Flipper is always talking about um, buying beach towels to flip. So this is my first try at it. I think I spent a dollar on that. I think every, all the hard goods, I think, hello, um, all the hard goods, I think I spent about um, 17 or $18 on total. So starting with the beach towel. And then this is a great little um, lamp and it's rice paper and it's got this little, let me see if I can open it up. It's got a thing that twirls from the heat the heat of the bulb twirls this little shade inside and it projects that all those fishies and stuff, it projects it on the wall. Um, it's really cool. I sold one of these actually that I got at um, Goodwill for I think $1.99 and that one, the propeller thingies, there, this part um, was broken like this part right here was broken. I had to mend it. This is in perfect condition. So, and that one I think I sold for $30. So I'm really looking forward to uh, making another 30 on this one. And this only cost me a buck. Look at that, $1, woohoo. I was so excited to see that. I picked it up right away. I wasn't even gonna go over to the lamps. Um, okay, I'm just gonna go move from left to right, uh, right to left here. Um, so this is a unique little item, huh? It's an ashtray, it's got a bore on it. I know, very odd. But it's oddity that that makes me think it might sell well. Um, and it has, I, I'm assuming that is either French, is French for either boar or pig. Um, and this is made um, in Limoges, Paris. Um, and it only cost me 50 cents. So I'm gonna see how that does. I think it will do well. I don't think I'll get less than 15. Okay, and one of my previous, I think my last one, I had some little Chinese um, motif snack trays, just this shape, just like this, by Elite Trays, look at that. So now I have a set of four that are different Paris scenes. That's one, here's another one, here's another one, and here's another one. Now those Chinese ones, one of them was in poor condition out of the four. This one, these are all in excellent condition. And all four of them only cost me 50 cents, woohoo! Okay, so that's those. Now we come to our my little figurines. I couldn't resist this owl, he's handmade. And um, he's clay. And he's just got like a lot of interesting texture and character to him, again, only 50 cents and he was stamped with a maker's mark of some sort Vancouver Canada so I have yet to look that up but I think he's gonna be a good one this guy is a gebel now gebel birds tend to only bring like gebel doesn't bring a whole lot I have to say it really doesn't uh, the Hummels, they just don't bring a whole lot. Certain ones, yes, but for the most part, no. So you could tell it's Gebel by that. See that V? It's hard. I can't get a real good close-up on it. That V has like a little B, Busby, you know, insect, in the middle of it. So that's how you know it's a Gebel, that marking. And that the way that marking looks and the words that are next to it or under it or above it, that those markings can tell you really help you date the object i haven't dated this one yet but it's almost in like 10 year increments they change their marking this is a little upside down i think it's a titmouse 
and I think he could sell for about 20 to 25. So I picked him up. Um, some of my other Gebbles, uh, the Hummel figurines, I haven't even gotten like nine, ten dollars for them. So, but he was only 50 cents, so I took a chance on him. I picked him up, put him down, picked him up, put him down. And finally, I was like, well, 50 cents, I'll just do it. And then I bought this just on instinct. I think this is really cool. It's like a gold leaf background. It's made in Italy. Mm, I don't know. It's just this really neat little picture of, I'm not sure what they're holding. I have to take a closer look. But they look like, I don't know, Italian countryside. This is in Italian on the back. The studio designer, I don't know. Again, only 50 cents. So I thought I would take a chance on that one. And this one, I loved the picture. I just look at those beautiful clouds. I just think that this is gorgeous. Now, it probably, I'm sure it's a print, but it's old. Um, and I just have an instinct about this too. So we'll see if my instincts are right. Very old, as you could see. I just love it when it, you have these little, um, you know, these old stamps and, and labels and stuff. And I just love things that, uh, kind of help you pinpoint the age of something. Um, uh, I just think it's really neat. All right, so moving on. This is a Waverly fabric. And I think when I looked it up, it said something about Williamsburg. And I saw that other people had sold two yards of this fabric for about $30, $35. See, it says Waverly screen print. It, it has an identifier on here as to what the name of it is. I think it's Greenbrier or something like that. Eh, I can't find it. It has Scotch Guard finish. So it's very Williamsburg-y. So I think that um, this will do very well. I'm looking forward to selling that for $30. And I paid $1.25. This I put in, now the trinket boxes, this whole section was where I went to first. And I picked this up. This was only 50 cents and it was beautiful. In beautiful condition, made in Italy. It's leather, it's gorgeous, right? Well, the 50 cent label was right there. And the reason I'm showing you this is basically to give you the heads up to not buy a leather goods product. This happened to me with a wallet too. Don't buy a leather product when the label is on the leather. It's not going to work out well for you. As you can see, it happened with me, and it's a shame. But again, it was only 50 cents, so it's not that big of a deal, but a little disappointing. So I loved, I'm going to go to this one next. I love this. This caught my eye right away. Isn't that gorgeous? It's so cool. It's ceramic. You hear that? It's ceramic. Black ceramic. And the detail on it is just so beautiful. And I'm assuming this is all hand done because it's like dimensional, you know, you could feel the bumps. And it obviously had a label on it, sticker, sticker's gone. Now, I think I ID'd it um, on Google Lens and found a, another exact same one. And I think it sold for like about 30, $35. So I paid $2 for that one. I think that is gorgeous. This tabletop or a dresser, trinket box, jewelry box, beautiful. And then this one is very kitschy. I like this. Turtles sell well, and this is hand done. It's, is it signed right there? Oh, what's it say right there? I know it's signed on the back. See, it's signed on the back. Uh, I can't read it now. What does it say? I don't know. Fancy signature. Thomas. Oh, it's upside down. That's why I can't read it. Tommy Lee. I knew I was able to read it before. I'm like, why can't I read that right now? Tommy Lee 02. So, um, I don't know. I just think that's really, really nice. I, I think it's a little cedar box. I think that'll do well probably like 20 bucks this again like a little trinket dish and look how beautiful that is 
that is that cobalt blue with the green with the gold and all those little dots I just thought so pretty and this is signed like a, a, ja a Chinese signature Chinese characters so I'm not exactly sure what that says I'm not sure at all but I think um, this will do well anyway just but just from the look of it um, it's really beautiful 50 cents and I'll go right to my little plush guy. Here's a cow and Heritage Collection by Gantz. So I liked him because he still had his hang tag on and he was in really clean condition. And that's what drew me to him in the first place. And then I looked up Heritage Collection by Gantz. I started getting disappointed because they didn't look like they were going to go for much. But then I saw the cow, I think he was going for like 12 or 15, where a lot of the other ones were going like for five, between five and 10. So I picked him up because I think he was only 50 cents. Okay. This lady is very interesting. Isn't she interesting? Look at her features. I mean, so detailed. And this really cool ethnic dress, costume I'm assuming I don't know Ukrainian something European maybe it's even French I think it is French because I think the underside had a and look she even has bloomers look she has bloomers and her little basket of eggs and this is um clay pottery as is the base as you can see and it says yes France made in France so I'll have to look that up. I'm not sure what her value will be, but I think she will go for a pretty decent price. I just think she is really nifty. So I love finding things like that. And so as not to ignore the duck in the room, we have two ducks, actually. I like to pick up duck decoys. I've done very, very well with them. And they tend to a lot of times are like $2, $3. And these guys happen to be both signed, which means that the person who painted them, that's the signature that you're seeing. So this says Tomlinson 87, Mallard Hen. So, and with the glass eye. So this one's beautifully done. Look how beautiful that is. So I really think um, I could probably get 20 to 25 for him and maybe a little bit more for him maybe 30. Uh, oh, but he's got like a little, oh look, he's got a little nick here, so maybe not. Maybe 20. But he is also signed. Uh, someone put felt on the bottom, so I might have to tear some of that away. Female Hooded Mercancer by D.W. Nickel in Smith Falls. Looks like Ontario. Pretty cool, huh? I don't know. I just think these are neat too because they have history and someone painstakingly did that, you know, and here someone is selling it for $2. I don't know. Saving it from the landfills is so cute. All right. And making money at the same time. Let's not kid ourselves. All right. So this guy, this jade, I'm assuming this is a jade plant. So we'll stand next to the, <laughs> the French lady. In, with Lake George in the background. You can't really see it. Here, there we go. That's a little better. And it has these like berry type things on them. See, it's all done with wire. And uh, I think these are all bundles of wire here that are wrapped. And it's in this ceramic, really nice. It's in a nice ceramic base, which is why I think it might also have value just because it's, it's really, really nicely done. So I have to Google Lens this. I haven't done that yet. Um, but I know that jade plants can go for pretty good money. I'm not exactly sure what. I'm thinking 30, 35, maybe. Okay, let's do another box, shall we? All right, so here's another like vanity box, jewelry box. Um, I think this is also cedar, I'm not sure. But look, it's got a mirror. Isn't that nice? You can tell it's old because of the way the mirror is worn. See, it's got spots on it and all. Um, but the hardware still looks good. I didn't look at the joints. 
joints are normal. They're not dovetails, so I'm not sure how old it is. But it's got decoupage on the top. But I did notice, that's all this hand carving too, which is really nice. But I did notice that after I purchased it, or after I had it in my box, I noticed there's a corner missing here, there's a piece missing here, and there's a piece missing here. But I thought the, um, the content of this graphic was really pretty. Um, and I think that it, while those are, obviously will affect the price. I think um, someone will still like it enough to buy it. So I don't think it'll make it unsaleable. Um, it might just lower the price a bit. But it's got handles on it. It's pretty neat. I don't think it had anything. No, the bottom is pretty plain. So, um, and then this was pretty cool. So I went to the mugs and this was obviously very unique. So I picked it up with the little carbiner clip, actual functional carbiner clip as the handle. Um, and it says Colorado 14ers, which I had no idea what that was. I thought it was people who had climbed Colorado mountains, but apparently this is a list of, and you can see here, a list of peaks, mountain tops that are over 14,000 feet. And I think there's 30 some odd of them in Colorado, something like that. So this is like the whole list of them and their heights. Is that cool? I think that was really neat. So, and it looks like it's never been used. It was only 50 cents. I'm not sure, there might not be a lot of interest in this, but I just thought it was a cool item anyway. And then at this sale, they do a really good job with the jewelry. They have these two ladies stationed there and if you want to get jewelry, they put it in this little pink bag and they total you up and they put it on, total on the outside and then they staple the bag so that when you go to check out, you know, the people that check you out just have to put that total on. They don't have to deal with whatever little pieces you have. So what I got in jewelry, not that astounding. I got the this one um, actually at the same sale last year, I had gotten these, um, Houses by Luc house pins by Lucinda, they're called. And they're like a resin. And I picked up a few of them last year and I sold them for, I think each of them were about between $15 and $20 that I sold them for. So they're desirable. And this red and black I thought was really good. And that really, that crescent moon on the top, that's really neat. So I know that will be saleable. And then this was kind of a guess. Um, I thought he was really neat. That's a crab pin. I don't think it's marked. I don't think it's marked. Uh, he's only 50 cents. I did a Google lens on him though, and he's pretty common to be honest. And um, yeah, there's a lot of people who have him or they're trying to sell him. So I think I might only get about 10 bucks for him. So that's one, that's my jewelry. And then I went upstairs to the clothing. And the clothing, I got $20 worth of clothing. I'm gonna show you really quickly what that is. So one of the things I got is this my really nice Woolrich sweater. I believe it's a men's sweater. It's pretty itchy though, but it's really nice looking. So we'll see how that does. I may only get about $20, $25 for it, we'll see. Oh, that's still good, right? Um, I'll show you now. The scarf was the first thing I picked up. And which, really, I should have learned my lesson by now on warm scarves like this. Even though this is 100% cashmere, made in Scotland, I assure you it won't bring more than $10, I don't think. But most of those cashmere from Scotland scarves are plaid. And this one was this beautiful medallion print. So I really liked it. So if, if I wind up not selling it, I might just use it myself. So nice and soft. Then I got two t-shirts. This one's a Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville. And I've got a great graphic on the back from Tulsa. 
and I'm sorry, my son's talking in the background. I asked him to be quiet, but he's on his computer with his friends. Can you hear him? Oh my gosh, it's gonna make me crazy. And then I picked up this Naruto top. Uh, Danny, my older son has, I think been a fan of Naruto or has actually told me about it. And he told me this character was not Naruto, but another character in, because Naruto is, the character Naruto is got blonde hair. And this guy's another character, so. Um, but he's pretty cool, but I don't think he's gonna bring a whole lot. He may be $10. Um, and then I picked up a couple of hats and a couple of ties because they were all only, I think they were 50 cents a piece. So Adidas, I know this will sell well. It's got that mesh. It's Adidas logo with the stripes. I think this will do really well. Um, I'm not sure. Um, this is what Alabama roll tied, right? But I'm not sure how that will do. It does have like a little dirt on the front here. I might just try to wash that off. I think that was from the sticker actually that was on there because it doesn't look like it's ever been used. And this is, what, what's the maker on this? Fan favorite. And it has what? Officially licensed collegiate products. Ooh boy, very official. Okay, and then I got this frog tape one just because I like the look of the logo and stuff, and I think, and look, it's got the frog embroidery on it. I think someone will really like that. Made by Sure Tape, frog tape. And who's this made by? N and D Sports. Oh, look, it even says frog tape inside. That's a nice hat. And I got a wool beret. Don't ask me why. I haven't looked up if this will sell very well, but... I think, what is it? Normandy Basque Beret made in France. Pretty nice, huh? I don't know, it's pretty neat. Ooh, that yeah, really nice. Okay, and then I have two ties. One, they're, I think they're both Brooks Brothers. A plaid and one with griffins on it. See that? Griffins. See that, Anne Sarula? That's for you. Brooks Brothers. So I thought those were pretty nice. We'll see how those sell. Okay, and then I had a couple of things from the sleepwear and we're done. So I got this really pretty, can't really see, but it's a Vanity Fair nighty. Sorry, you're not gonna be able to see it. But the back has got like the, the drape of this chiffani stuff comes all the way down the back, like from the shoulders. So it makes almost like a train effect. It's really nice. So um, as vintage nightgowns go, I think that'll do well. And I got this Vanity Fair robe just because I thought, I've got to clip that off, obviously. It looks really new. It looks like nobody's really used it. Um, if I find that this particular model won't sell well, I might just use it myself. I know I'll look like an old farty in this, but it looks nice and warm. This I will not wear myself. <laughs> this I got because it looks very vintage. Um, and it's a quilted robe by Komar. And I know Komar is an older brand too. Made in the USA. Um, I think this will do very, very well. Look at that. It's even got like that gathered sleeve. Oh my gosh, with the pink bow and everything. Very, I don't know what, 80s country? I don't know. Would you consider this cottage core? I have no idea. But the clothing was, this stuff was a little pricey for, uh, the robes were $3 a piece, which I didn't realize when I went up there. And I think they charged me $2 for the nightgown. So that was most of, my part and I think the sweater was three so three six nine eleven so out of the twenty dollars I spent eleven was on those four pieces and all the rest of this was the nine dollars so but I did well I really excited and I'm glad that you spent the time with me and I will try to put on Instagram when I sell some of these items and what I sold them for okay have a great day